printing doesn't simply mean printing a final product. The 3D printed parts that come out of the printer are mostly white or grey and full of powder, far away from an end-use product. During my studies I recognized um, that you can produce parts out of 3D files from a computer, so that sounded very crazy, like a new internet. And yeah, we came up with the idea to found a company that focuses on post-processing of um, 3D printed raw parts. So how can companies harness this innovation and technology to revolutionize their production? How can 3D printed products become part of our everyday life? Dimension is the global leader in additive manufacturing finishing systems for 3D printed products and at the forefront of unleashing the full potential of 3D printing. If you think about manufacturing right now, where most of the products are produced in China and then they are shipped around the world, 3D printing um, is a very ecological solution to that. You can send products via email. This will solve some big challenges we have as humanity. The automotive industry in particular is taking huge strides towards making it an essential part of its manufacturing process, with over 35% of companies planning investments in 3D printing over the next three years. Daimler, one of the biggest premium automotive companies worldwide, is one of them. The advantages, just to mention a few of them, it reduces costs and lead time, it reduces the carbon footprint and it helps companies to react faster to the needs of customers and markets. Today we focus on bus interior components, but in the future we plan to print all kinds of parts, for example interior parts, exterior parts and even powertrain parts, if feasibility and economy is perfect. We started with Dimension Technology and with their expertise, with Dimension's expertise, we invented a specific Daimler Buses interior parts color shape. Götti, the largest Swiss eyewear manufacturer, joined up with Dimension to take advantage of this opportunity. Es gibt in 3D-Druck nicht einen Hersteller, wo wir können sagen, mach mir die Brüller komplett von A bis Z fertig. Aus diesem Grund haben wir viele Sachen müssen selber in-house entwickeln und irgendwann ist der Punkt gekommen, wo wir uns entschieden haben, dass wir alle Schritte bei uns in-house produzieren wollen. Viele Marken können sich, werden sich mit 3D-Druck beschäftigen, weil man sich einfach über Design und Konstruktion einerseits abheben kann, andererseits kann man ähm, Sachen realisieren, die in einer konventionellen Produktion so gar nicht herstellbar sind. Während. In der Vorbereitung der Produkt, aber dann auch Know-how in Zusammenarbeit, Know-how-Transfer mit der Amazon. Die haben die Prozesserfahrung, die haben die Produktionserfahrung und ich denke, wir kommen da gemeinsam immer auf eine gute Lösung. In the medical sector, the truly positive impact can be felt as well. Healthcare companies have begun to use the fully customizable options 3D printing offers to help transform the medical sector and with it the lives of the people and patients they serve. Dominic Hepp, CEO and co-founder of HKK Bionics, a startup in the medical branch that develops innovative bionic orthosis, explains how. While I still was in high school, I was involved in a car accident, um, which forced me to the wheelchair for several months. After that, I started studying medical engineering and the idea of developing an active orthosis for paralyzed hands came up. Our product is an individually built orthosis for paralyzed hands, which helps the patient to regain a grasp function. 3D printing allows us to build patient individual parts of orthosis like the splint with industrial quality in quantity one in a profitable way. We work together with Dimension and use their surface finishing and coloring technology 
um, which helps us to improve the haptic of the 3D printed parts. I think the coloring helps the people to identify with this artosis. So it makes them feeling it a little bit like a part of themselves. So it helps them to accept the aid. So 3D printing is definitely a technology with massive potential to disrupt diverse industries. It has already begun its journey to become an indispensable part of manufacturing in the next years to come. The more branches and businesses take advantage of this technology, the faster the innovation cycles and the demands to 3D printing get. To have a completely automated production and this will be the next big step, automating all the different processes and having a fully connected and automated production environment from software to uh, post-processing. There's no printer on the market that does not require any post-processing. People should realize that in order to get a final part, there are a lot of uh, different steps involved. And, and only if those are extremely well connected and work with each other, then you can um, have a final part.